NPR's still number one. The latest from podnews.net with Smart Money Happy Hour from Ramsey Network. This is NPR. The Triton Digital US rankers were released for July, and unlike the Australian versions, these measure a four week period for better comparison. This time, July the 1st to July the 28th. Downloads were down by 0.6%. It's participating publishers only, but NPR's News Now is number one in the podcast list. iHeart Audience Network is number one in the sales networks. Crooked Media Workers Union is celebrating ratifying a contract agreement including wage increases and AI protection. They had walked out last week. Provisions include starting salaries of $80,000 and a minimum of 49 days of paid time off. Crooked must also include an acknowledgement that the staff is unionised with the Writers Guild of America East at the end of all podcasts. Spotify has opened a podcast studio and audio space in Buenos Aires in Argentina. Podcast app Metacast has blogged on how it chose $4.99 as its premium price point. And a new podcast festival has been announced for October the 4th in Wisconsin in the US. Podcast Town Festival will have 10 live shows on stage with networking and interactive sessions. And sorry for a very quick pod news today. We'll have a bigger than usual newsletter on Monday. Lucky you, but a cancelled flight means that I'm leaving 16 hours early for podcast movement and I've still got to pack. In People News, Carolyn Chauncey has been promoted to Senior Vice President Marketing and Podcasting at Cumulus Media as part of a set of leadership changes. Jay Soderberg, or the Pod Vader as he's known, has been promoted to Vice President of Podcast Operations and Production. And Megan Devine is now Vice President of Podcast Sales Planning and Yield Optimization. And Annalise Nielsen and Wan Yi Lee have joined Lower Street following the Pacific Content Brand Acquisition. Wanyi, who is best known for her work on Morgan Stanley's What Should I Do With My Money, joins as the newest Lower Street producer, and Annalise takes on the role of Head of Podcast Strategy and Development. You can catch her at Podcast Movement. And in podcast news, do you have a set of plane rides ahead of you and maybe 12 hours of layover in LAX airport? Mm, looking forward to that. Anyway, new podcast trailers is the perfect place to find your next perfect podcast. It's got trailers for almost all the shows we write about in pod news. Get it subscribed and never have to worry about what to listen to next. And the pod news weekly review this week contains an interview with Dan Meisner about the new bumper dashboard and the benefit of looking beyond the download to measure your podcast success. Also, Joe Tanarella from Pod Engine is another guest too. You'll find the Pod News Weekly Review and new podcast trailers wherever you get your podcasts, apart from YouTube because only one of them is there. This podcast is sponsored by Smart Money Happy Hour. It's hosted by Rachel Cruz and George Camel. They're two friends. They happen to be money experts and they talk about pop culture and personal finance. Smart Money Happy Hour is the latest video podcast from Ramsey Network. There's a link in the show notes and that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 